The ruling party's decision to appoint Agni Sapkota as the new House Speaker is likely to face hitches following a writ file demanding to withdraw the decision. At the same time, political advisor of President Bidya Devi Bhandari, Sushil Pyakurul, has resigned from his post, citing his displeasure at Sapkota's nomination. Good morning, I'm Amar Singh Pradhan, and these are the headlines of the hour. Authorities confirm a student who returned from China to have been infected with Wuhan coronavirus. The death toll due to corona-related virus in China climbs to 41. Read filed at Supreme Court against the appointment of Agni Sapkota as House Speaker. President's advisor Pyakurul resigns out of discontent against Sapkota's nomination. The state-owned Nepal Airlines Corporation mired in financial crisis due to political interference, internal bickering and unstable leadership. And two more matches to be played in the Martyrs Memorial A Division League. League leaders Tribune Army looking to extend their lead at the top. Let's begin with national political updates. The president's political advisor, Susil Pyakurul, has resigned from his position citing dissatisfaction against the ruling Nepal Communist Party's decision to appoint Agni Sapkota as the House Speaker. Pyakurul stepped down from the position yesterday afternoon citing his commitment to constitutional supremacy. Pyakurul said that he resigned out of realization that he should be more involved outside the formal boundary of the ruling mechanism in a bid to ensure rule of law. He had filed a writ against Speaker nominated Agni Sapkota around seven years ago, demanding prosecution against him on murder charges. Meanwhile, senior advocate Dinesh Tripathi has filed another writ at the Supreme Court, demanding to scrap the process to appoint Sapkota as the Speaker. The right activists have been alleging Sapkota's involvement in the murder of Arjun Lama, a resident from Kabre during the conflict era. The then Maoist rebels are alleged of killing Lama after detaining him. However, no case has been lodged against Sapkota as of yet. Although the Supreme Court had ordered investigation against Sapkota, the right activists have alleged that the ruling has not been implemented. The ruling party has fielded Sapkota as the candidate for the House Speaker, while the read file by Susil Pyakurel, among other right activists, is still under consideration at the Supreme Court. As he is the unanimous candidate for the post, the Parliament Secretariat is all set to formally appoint Sapkota as House Speaker tomorrow. The resignation of Pyakurel has been seen as a preparation for thwarting Sapkota's candidacy. In his re he registered yesterday, Advocate Tripathi has urged the Supreme Court to annul the Speaker's appointment process. With the Wuhan coronavirus infection threat catching the global attention in the past week, the infection has been detected in Nepal as well. We have a report. Coronavirus has been confirmed in a student who had returned from China's Wuhan region last week. After suspicion of contracting the virus, the Ministry of Health had sent the student's sputum sample to the laboratory of World Health Organization in Hong Kong. The examination confirmed that the student had contracted the virus. The youth who has been infected, however, has already been discharged after being treated at Teku's Shahid Sukraraj Tropical and Infectious Disease Hospital. Although the infected student has not yet developed any symptom of the Wuhan coronavirus, the ministry, in a statement released on Friday, has said that he has been closely monitored and that a search is also underway to identify the individuals who had come in contact with the infected youth. Meanwhile, the government has set up a high security at the Trivuvan International Airport with the spread of the latest strain of coronavirus in China's northern region. According to the Ministry of Health, every individual returning from China, if found to have fever, are mandatorily required to fill up a health form so as to undergo required vigilance against the virus. And we'll take a short break. We'll be right back. Welcome back. The state-owned Nepal Airlines Corporation has been ridden in financial crisis due to what can be termed as political interference, internal bickering and unstable leadership. 
The corporation had taken a loan of 24 billion rupees to procure two 276-seater uh, airplanes one and a half year ago. The government also appointed Madan Karel as the executive chairman to provide new leadership and lead the corporation towards profit by clearing all loan amount. When the Minister for Tourism asked a clarification from Karel for the dwindling performance of the corporation, Karel simply tendered his resignation and left for Australia. The government, meanwhile, replaced Karel with Tourism Secretary Susil Ghimire, who is unlikely to give much time to the corporation. The appointment of Ghimire has not been welcomed by aviation experts. It is not that the corporation cannot make a profit, but the international flights of the corporation is limited to 12%, which can be increased with concrete planning. The Airbus under the disposal of the corporation has not been fully utilized. Neither has the corporation been able to clinch flight deals to new destinations. The Airbuses procured from China are just parked at the airport, coughing up hefty parking charges, while non-working pilots are given salaries and other perks. The pilots, too, are involved in groupism and politics. This has increased the corporation's liability from 24 billion to 40 billion rupees. At a time when the government is celebrating Visit Nepal Year 2020, the Nepal Airlines Corporation has failed to utilize the opportunity to improve its financial record. And time for international update. China is marking the Lunar New Year, one of the most important dates in its calendar, while concerns grow about the coronavirus outbreak. As millions go home for the holidays, travel restrictions have been expanded to 13 cities, home to more than 36 million people in Hubei province, the center of the outbreak. There are currently 1,200 confirmed cases in China, 41 of whom have died. The virus has now spread to Europe with three cases confirmed in France. The first case was in Bodu, while the other two were in the Paris area, the French health minister said on Friday night. Wuhan, where the outbreak began, is rapidly building a new hospital. The city, home to around 11 million people, is struggling to cope with the increasing number of patients. Chinese media outlets said the 1,000-bed hospital could be ready within six days. A total of 35 diggers and 10 bulldozers are currently working on the site. Wuhan is effectively on lockdown. All bus, metro and ferry services have been suspended and all outbound planes and trains cancelled. Residents have been advised not to leave and roadblocks have been reported. At least 14 people have been killed and hundreds hurt in a powerful earthquake in eastern Turkey. The 6.8 magnitude quake centered on the town of Sivris in Ilazik province caused buildings to collapse and sent residents rushing into the street. Tremors were also felt in neighboring Syria, Lebanon and Iran. Earthquakes are common in Turkey. About 17,000 people died in a massive quake in the western city of Izmit in 1999. According to Turkey's Disaster and Emergency Management Authority, there were 60 aftershocks recorded after the earthquake. It said more than 400 rescue teams are heading towards the region, along with beds and tents for those displaced. People are warned not to return to damaged buildings in case of aftershocks. And we have more news coming up, but right now it's time for another short break. And in our public voice segment, we had asked the residents of Putan district what should be done by whom in order to ease the health services and improve management in the health sector. Let's take a look at what they have to say. Public voice. Just to add about Kurama, say, Sambandit Nikaya Bandani, Nepal Sarkar lechay, business kari Paul ganu pario. Bhakti business le, ha na? Song songstali matre, ha? Sudar gar ra huna sakte na? Yo rajya le ne yesko. जिम्मा लिनु पर्छ सरकारले नै राम्रो गरे व्यवस्थापन को लागि पहल गर्नु पर्छ सरकार नै अगाडि सरेर अग्रसर त देखाउनु पर्छ स्थानीय सरकारले नै चाहिँ आज अलिकन नबुझेको जस्तो हो कि काठमाडौँमा त डट डट नथुबार र चाहिँ दरबन्दी अनुसार चाहिँ जिल्ला जिल्लामा पढाइदिनु गर्न पर्यो सरकारले आफ्नो भूमिका निभाउन पर्ने हो त्यो भूमिका राम्रोसँग निभाइदे यो स्वास्थ्य क्षेत्रमा राम्रो हुन्छ तल्लो तहदेखि माथि सम्मकाले सबैले निकायहरुले सहयोग गरे भने सबै राम्रो हुन्छ And now time for our segment Public Pulse, where it texts us with their opinion. Public Pulse. 
what could be the reason for the unstable managerial leadership at Nepal Airlines Corporation? Your options are A, internal problem, B, political interference, and C, handiwork of interest group. The voting for the question is on tab in AWS. Select your option A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. And let's move on to sports update. Sports news. Two matches are scheduled under the Martyrs Memorial A Division League football today. The first match slated for a 12 p.m. kickoff will see tournament favorites Tribune Army Club and NRT up against each other at the Capitals Dasada Stadium. In seven matches so far, league leaders Army have won five, drawn one and lost one. Army is looking forward to taking a clear three points lead in the league table today. Meanwhile, out of seven matches played so far, NRT have won four, drawn two and faced one loss. The second A division League encounter, which is also the last match of the eighth round, will see Sankata pitted against Friends Club. The match is slated to kick off at three in the afternoon. And back home, the Cricket Association of Nepal has announced the national squad for the upcoming ICC World Cup League Two Championship beginning from 5th of February. Fast bowler Kamal Singh Airi has made it to the national team for the first time. The squad announced yesterday has left out another fast bowler, Sumpal Kami, who is nursing an injury. The team led by Gyanendra Malla comprises Dipendra Singh Airi, Paras Khadka, Sandeep Lamichane, Karan Kesi, Arif Saik and Vinod Bhandari. The team also includes Abhinaz Bora, Kushal Malla and Susan Bari. Likewise, Rohit Paudal, Sarad Beswakar and Lalit Rajbangsi have also made it to the final 14-member squad. The CAN has selected the squad from a close camp while the team is currently training in Pokhara. The triangular series involving host Nepal along with Oman and USA will take place at uh, Kirtipur's Tio Grand. And on to volleyball news, APF has defended its NVA Women Volleyball Championship, defeating New Diamond Club 3-1 in the final played yesterday. APF won the first two sets 25-23, 25-21 in the final played at Dasati Stadium's Covered Hall. New Diamond came into the match taking the third set 25-23. However, New Diamond's influential spiker Pratiba Mali suffered an injury as APF took advantage to win the next set and match 25-18. APF pocketed 200,000 rupees along with trophy while New Diamond had to settle for 100,000 rupees. In the men's category, help Nepal stun APF to clinch the NBA Men's Volleyball Championship. Helpline playing with three Indian players won the final in stretch sets 25-17, 25-14 and 25-21. The winners pocketed 200,000 rupees along with trophy while APF had to be content with 100,000 rupees. And now time for our special segment, Media Watch. The Secretariat Committee meeting of the ruling Nepal Communist Party held at the Prime Minister's official residence in Balwatar on Sunday decided to bid the candidacy of Agni Sapkota for the post of Speaker of the House of Representatives. The confirmation of the candidate has paved way to resume parliamentary proceedings of the lower house. The meeting of the lower house has been postponed from a month as the ruling party was uncertain on the candidate of the Speaker. On Monday, the House of Representatives published the schedule for the election of the Speaker for 26th of January. As Sapkota is the only candidate standing for the post, he will be appointed as the Speaker unopposed this coming Sunday. Meanwhile, Deputy Speaker Shivamaya Tumbahampe resigned from her post on Monday to pave way for the appointment of a new Speaker. The post of the Speaker has been vacant since October after Krishnabadur Mahara resigned from the post following rape allegations. The ruling Nepal Communist Party swept the National Assembly elections held on Thursday as the results were declared the same day. The candidates from the ruling party won 16 out of the total 18 seats, while two seats went to Rashtriya Janata Party Nepal, which had formed an electoral alliance with the ruling Nepal Communist Party. Eight Indian tourists died in a hotel room in Makwanpur's Simbanjang on Tuesday due to suffocation. A total of 15 Indian tourists had returned from a trip to Pokhara Monday night and had taken rooms at the Everest Panorama Resort. Among them, eight were found unconscious on Tuesday morning and were airlifted to Kathmandu for treatment. The hospital, however, declared them dead around noon on Tuesday. Four of the deceased were children. 
Doctors have informed that lack of proper ventilation in the room equipped with the gas heater could be the cause of death. The 15 Indian tourists, who were all from Kerala, had booked four rooms in the resort. Among them, eight shared the same room where they were found unconscious. This is Abhyuday Shrestha for Kantipur News Desk. And a look at the top stories one more time. Authorities confirm a student who returned from China to have been infected with Wuhan coronavirus. The death toll due to corona-related virus in China climbs to 41. Read filed at Supreme Court against the appointment of Agni Sapkot as House Speaker. President's advisor Piakurel resigns out of discontent against Sapkota's nomination. The state-owned Nepal Airlines Corporation mired in financial crisis due to political interference, internal bickering and unstable leadership. And two more matches to be played in the Martyrs Memorial A Division League. League leaders Tribune Army looking to extend the lead at the top. And that's all for the moment. Our next English Bulletin will be at 11 a.m. Stay with us for more news and entertainment on KDVSD. Good day.